here is another picture of, of the ongoing eruption uh, north of Grindavik. And the picture had been taken from the helicopter, which was flying more to the west of the eruption, where you have the Grindavik road. This greenhouse is uh, run by a company which uh, grows genetically modified barley. Uh, and it is being threatened by the lava, as you see. Uh, it is the closest building of Grindavik to the lava. And uh, here you see Hagafat Mountain to the uh, left of the picture. And the fissure is running along the Sunnuka Yingar uh, row of craters, like uh, the southern tip of that fissure line, ancient fissure line, where we saw the volcanic eruption earlier uh, in December, further north. So now we have it further south right uh, close to the wall there is a wall here north of this greenhouse barley greenhouse and they left some opening where the lava is running through but the city itself is a bit further south lava has not made it yet to the city and pa is pretty close and lava is spilling uh, the, to the west here as you see towards uh, Grindavik road uh, and there is another wall which uh, protects it uh, protects the Blue Lagoon and, uh, and geothermal power plant a bit further north here. So here you see the map of the area again. And the fissure is here uh, basically east uh, of the mountain of Hagafat. There is a quarry here and this mountain is called Hagafat. And geothermal power plant is here to the top uh, left of the picture and Blue Lagoon as well. And the old lava reached here uh, north of Hagafat. So the the fissure, new fissure, is just south of the old uh, fissure line, right here. See, there is some field road which uh, goes here from Sudostrandarvegur further north, and uh, the lava is already destroying this field road and reaching this greenhouse, which grows genetically modified barley. It's going right here south um, uh, of Hagafat towards the highway. And here uh, it's likely to travel here by this old green uh, path of the lava from the ancient days or maybe here to the ocean. I don't know how much lava will erupt uh, but the fissure had widened it somewhat and it's a bit longer but still is much smaller eruption on scale than back in December. So this is how it looks on the map and it is as I told uh, the eruption is observable from this mountain here, the route is closed right here. You can park here and you can hike up this mountain and see it from a significant distance. So, I wish you all the best. Be well. Uh, let's pray for the uh, for Grindavik city, for the residents of Grindavik, which had been evacuated again yesterday. This is a live broadcast from uh, Iceland right now. The camera is situated on Thorbjörn's uh, volcano, just north of Grindavik. And now it's 9.37 a.m. in the morning in Iceland, 14th of January. And this is how the eruption looks. Um, uh, you see uh, the cracks widen, they became wider. I don't know how big they are, but at least it looks to be around one kilometer. Very similar in size to um, Little Hrutor eruption back in 2023 in July. And you see lava is spilling uh, to the west as well. You see towards the wall which had been constructed uh, to, um, to stop the lava on, from going direction to geothermal power plant in Blue Lagoon. And uh, we'll definitely reach that wall. Uh, anytime soon but the wall north of Grindavik had not been completed and lava is using the passage um, to the south here uh, to uh, run into the south as well but most of the lava is spilling to the sides for now not really to the south but to the side so we might not even reach Grindavik eastern parts of Grindavik we will see uh, how it develops and how big is the eruption but it's likely to subside down uh, next um, days very soon, next hours, as eruptions in Iceland start big here on Reykjanes and they subside rather quickly. But it's a fissure eruption, 
most of volcanic eruption in Alaska start from the fissures as we are situated on mid-Atlantic mountain ridge, which is the um, tectonic fissure uh, ridge tectonic fault between North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, which are slowly separating from each other about two centimeters per year. And this tectonic fault runs through Rikinus Ridge, through Rikinus Peninsula, and it is the reason behind the all volcanic eruptions in Iceland, including this one. Iceland has been driven apart by tectonic plates, that's why most of volcanic eruptions in Iceland take place from the fissures. As here, sometimes fissures can be pretty big, as back in December when it was 4 kilometers long, but here it is about 1 kilometer. Icelandic Met Office published this map which shows exact location of the fissures, so now we know for sure where the eruption is taking place. It's uh, basically uh, east of the mountain of Hagafat, southeast here the red line, and uh, here you see uh, the construction of um, Lava Wall north of Grindavik uh, 